Hi everybody. Uh, we are here for another Senior Chef's uh, demonstration. Today is the day before Thanksgiving, so I've got a lot of stuff to make. Today I am working on pies and things of that sort to get ready for tomorrow. But I wanted to share with you today one of my favorite recipes. This goes back to my early childhood. This is one of the easiest and, in my opinion, the best uh, cranberry sauce recipes that you're ever going to come across. Uh, so we're going to work on that today. What we are doing as far as our ingredients go is two bags of fresh cranberries from Giant Eagle. And I am just going to say that I am doubling this recipe, so if you wanted a single batch, you can just, you know, cut it in half. Uh, we've got the two bags of uh, cranberries. We've got a cup and a half of sugar. We've got two boxes of raspberry jello. This is the sweetened variety. And three cups of um, regular ordinary water. The process is going to be that we are going to uh, get the water in the frying pan. And you can see that it's already in there. Uh, obviously, we're not frying it, but I like a nice wide surface area to get the cranberries popped. We will put the cranberries in when the water is boiling, and we just wait for the cranberries to pop open and get softer. And as soon as that happens, we'll turn off the fire, we'll add the sugar and the jello, and let it set. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and add these cranberries now. I'm not sure that the water is completely boiled, boiling yet, but we're going to go ahead and get these cranberries in and uh, go from there. Okay, hi everybody, we are back. The cranberries have boiled for quite some time now. They are nice and mushy, which is pretty much the way we want them. Uh, at this point, we're turning off the heat and we are going to add our sugar. These cranberries, of course, are quite tart, so without that extra sugar, uh, the jello is not going to do its job of making it sweet enough. Uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and add our jello in as well. If you will remember from raising kids, uh, you know, you take one cup of water, boil it, mix in your jello, and then have another cup of water that's not boiling. Well, we're not doing that this time. Everything that we are using is boiling and we're not adding any other water to it. So we've got our sugar and our jello mix mixed in here. We are gonna just mix this up real good and we will chill it. So let's get this thoroughly mixed. Try to not slop it all over the stove. Happy with me if I manage to avoid doing that. And now we are going to just go ahead and put it into the container that we will serve it in tomorrow. So here is our container. And now it's kind of a balancing act. actually want to do this single batch because the double batch is actually a little heavy. Try to carefully pour this into the bowl. Alright. Looking good. This is still quite hot, so I am going to let this chill. And when it's cool enough, we will go ahead and pop it in the fridge. It'll set up by tomorrow, and we will have cranberry sauce. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you give this a try. It doesn't have to be for Christmas or for uh, Thanksgiving. You can easily serve this with Christmas. It goes as good with pork and ham as it does with turkey. I hope you enjoy.